guys and welcome back thanks for clicking so cherish rabbi reviews the truth everyone is afraid of so let's check it out it is true it is a fact that jews lived and flourished in the Muslim and Arab lands, and anybody who would like to could have see for themselves go to uh, uh, Tunisia, Morocco, um, Iran, Egypt, and, um, uh, and uh, Yemen, and all the lands there, and prior to any human rights groups to protect, uh, prior to, you can go, you can find the synagogues uh, that were there until recent, uh, recent uh, times, and some of them still exist in Iran. They still are, they are there. People are practicing the religion there, the Jewish religion. Uh, but um, till recently, till Zionism came about, Jews flourished at, as distinctly religious Jewish communities, and they weren't massacred. On the contrary, they went to these Arab and Muslim lands to escape persecution uh, from the Crusades, from the Inquisition, and from many other trials and tribulations, and, the, um, and even World War II. Uh, the Arab and Muslim lands opened their hearts, opened their lands, and uh, provided a safe haven and a gracious hospitality for the Jewish people. Again, clearly they, we, we have different religion, um, and yet uh, we, were, we were accepted in these Muslim and Arab lands. We believe in one God, and we were accepted. We have different ways of serving God, but yet as I, they, they, we were respected, and the, even the Muslim religion requires of that, uh, of uh, the, uh, the Muslim people to, to, to provide protection and hospitality, and they did uh, carry that out. That's clear. Nobody can refute this fact, um, although, unfortunately, Zionism and the Zionist, uh, Zionists pr try constantly to vilify the Muslim people and try to recreate a, 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 a scenario of as if we have some deep embedded religious conflict and, and hate between Jews and Muslims, and that is so deplorable, despicable, and really, it's, there's no words, it's a Nakba. And let me try to explain, really, people have to understand, you know, I threw in word Zionism, and this, what, what are we talking about here? Yeah, so, what, what is it? Most people are ignorant now when you hear Zionism, you know, what's the difference between Judaism and Zionism? Yeah. Uh, with God's help, the Judaism is a religion. It's a, it is the covenant that Jewish people made some 3,000 years ago on Mount Sinai uh, to be subservient to God and to follow the laws of the Torah, 613 commandments in the Torah. We, in the Torah is full of laws that are replete. Some, um, a large segment of them have to do with keeping Sabbath, kosher, things that pertain from um, us as human beings to the Almighty. And then there is a large segment of the Torah that pertains to that one should not steal and one not kill and to be compassionate and so forth. Um, it's all, there's a many, many commandments, it's all part and parcel of the Torah. In fact, uh, we can encompass it as one of the com commands, one of the lo um, statements is that, um, that, that in Hebrew it says, Mahu racham racham. just as God is compassionate, you should be compassionate. So basically that is what Judaism is. Zionism is a mere hundred odd years. It was a movement of Jews who were estranged from the Torah, who detested the Torah and tried to transform this Judaism into a Zatz Judaism, a new Judaism which is pure ma nationalism, material concept of having an army, uh, 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 Olympic team, and to be a nation proud amongst other nations, totally removing in its essence uh, the concept of godliness, removing God from, uh, from the equation, and they will allow religion, they say, or, or how far they do or don't, but they are, have hijacked the name Israel, they've hijacked the whole uh, um, uh, Judaism to legitimize and to put a facade of that it's kosher, that it's uh, godly, what they're doing when in truth it contradicts Judaism and it's totally forbidden. And I'll explain why with God's can, can you, before we go to break, so can you be, a, a, can you be Jewish and an atheist? Of course not. It's ridiculous that Judaism is belief in God. That's what it's all about, a covenant with God. It's not a nationalism. It's not some type of a country that you can be uh, a Democrat, you can be a, a, a Marxist or something. Well, Zionism exactly, is exactly that. They were Marxists and they claim to be Democrats and they proudly claim that, they're, that they're, you don't have to be a pra practicing Jew and, and, and to be a good Jew as long as you're supporting the state. So that uh, in, of itself shows the uh, heresy and the blasphemy in what this is. But there's much more to what we're talking about, um, the issue of Zionism. And I would really have to elaborate a 
little bit on what this is, uh, on, on what Zionism, how in every facet it rebels against God and it, um, it, it, is, uh, uh, it, it is rooted in heresy and in, in, in non-belief in God and in doing evil, basically. Uh, before we go to break, just one more thing. It really touched a lot of the hearts when people have heard you say that Jews and Muslims at one point when they were living before this, this whole nationalistic, atheistic movement, Zionism, is it safe to say that's what it is, an atheistic, nationalistic movement? Most which is certainly. A, yeah. So now before that, uh, they were actually babysitting each other's kids. There's so if you're leaving a kid with someone, your own you know, flesh and blood, your, your, your joy of your heart, you know, this is not your enemy. That's the most <laughs> precious of, uh, uh, um, possession that a person has. It's what God gave a person. And Jews the, and Muslims yeah, will leave their they, kids they to They live in the same courtyards. We have many Jews who are alive today, to, to thank God. And they lived in the old courtyards in, in old Jerusalem. To testify and, to And this. they could testify this and, uh, to this, uh, 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 both from the Arab and Muslim people and the Jewish communities. Yeah. I have many colleagues of that. We're going to take a break. Yeah. Wow. I just love the fact that I started talking about... Jewish and Muslim, the little similarities they have between the two religion, and there's one is talk about is Zion, Zionist type, something like that. I, I'm hearing that one for the first time. I never knew there was a religion like that. Oof, I never knew. And I love the question that was asked, saying that is there a difference between the atheist and the Ju Judaism? Because it's true. That question is necessary because it's just recently that I think people are getting to know more about the Jewish, the Ju you know, Jewish people, the religion called Judaism, and you know, it's just that atheists do not believe in God at all, but Jewish people believe in God, and their book is a bit different from the Bible. You get it? That was a beautiful explanation, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.